Happy Valentine's Day, babes. So for today's tutorial, I will actually be showing you how I created this pretty pink and gold halo eyeshadow look. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this makeup look, then definitely keep watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Starting with my eyebrows, I am actually going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is in the shade Warm Honey just to highlight underneath the brows and this is also what I'm using to set my eyelids as well. Taking my Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette, I'm going in with a light sort of like pale tangerine shade and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid just to start. Next, I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution Reloaded palette, and this is actually the Neutrals 2 palette. So I am lightly applying that pink pigment just to the outer corner of my eyelids and slowly building up um, the intensity of that color while also blending it. So going back into my Makeup Revolution palette, I'm going back in with a softer pink shade and I'm using this just to blend out that really deep sort of magenta color that I applied to the corners of my eyelids. So as you blend in the crease areas, you'll probably want to go back in and build up the color in the corners of your eyelid just so that you don't lose that intensity um, because again, we're going for a halo look. So you really want to go back and forth between the crease area, the corners of your eyelids, and just making sure that everything sort of melts together. Going into my Morphe 35B palette, I am actually going to take a burgundy color and just lightly tap it into the corners of my eyelids as well, um, just to add a little bit of depth to the color um, of that pink shade. And then blending that out as well. So going back in with that original magenta pink color. Taking my Makeup Revolution Concealer, I am actually going to apply that to the very middle of my eyelids. So now I'm starting to create that halo effect. So I'm almost creating um, a little bit of a rounded rectangle in the very middle of my eyelid. And then I'll slowly start to work in the pigment um, around that concealer as well so that everything blends together. So again, I'm going back in with that magenta color, and this is just to blur out any harshness from the concealer so that it has a smooth transition from the pink to the gold. And then I am also going to go back in with my original transition color as well. So we're creating almost like a gradient effect until we get to the gold pigment in the middle of the eyelid. Going back into my Morphe 35V palette, I'm actually going to take that light champagne colored shimmer. Um, so it reads as almost like a light gold and apply that just in the middle where we originally applied that concealer. I did wet my brush as well just to intensify the pigmentation of that shimmer tone. And then with this, you can honestly just keep applying until you've reached the likeness that you desire. So once the shimmer that I was looking for has been achieved, I decided to go back in once more with that lighter pink shade um, just in my crease area just to um, intensify that area a little bit but still keep it really soft. 
for my lashes, I actually just used some really lightweight wispies that I got from the beauty supply store. For my foundation, I am going in with Fenty Beauty and this is in the shade 390. I'm also going to go back in with that Makeup Revolution Concealer in C12 just to highlight my face. Um, I will definitely say that these concealers are pretty lightweight, um, so because they're more of like a liquid consistency, I did have to work kind of fast to get them blended in, but I do think overall they worked really well. For my contour, I'm also going back in with that Makeup Revolution Concealer in C16 and I will definitely say that um, less is more. So you can actually see that each time I put my brush down, I'm actually wiping away some of the concealer. So I would recommend starting with a smaller amount and just blending that out first. Um, because you can always add more, but it is more difficult to take away. Um, so I am just blending that into my nose, and then I'm going to blend in the little bit that I applied to my cheekbones as well. Going back into my Makeup Revolution palette, I'm taking that medium pink shade and just applying it along my waterline and then I'm going to follow that up with the magenta shade as well. To finish off in my tear duct, I'm going back into my Morphe 35B palette and I'm taking the sort of champagne pink color and applying that just slightly in the tear duct. To highlight, I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter, and this is in Gold Addict. Okay, so this is the final, final look. And um, so I did go back in with my NYX Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Brown, and then apply that same matte lip color um, loved from Milani. So I like this a lot better. I think that it gives my lips a little bit of depth. So definitely be careful when you're um, choosing your lip liners as well. That can kind of make or break your, your look and just kind of pull things together for you. Um, so yeah, I, I really like the way this halo um, pink Valentine's Day I look came out. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I just, I love Valentine's Day. I love everything about the holiday. Um, so I'm hoping that you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day. Um, and thank you so much for watching this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.